another video for you guys and today I have Mikey with me again and we're gonna be doing a ride along with his Lexus SC400 is a 2JZ swap and I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit more about what he has done to it if you haven't watched the previous video I did with him but uh, be sure to check out that video anyways because it was a fairly good video if you ask me but uh Mikey what all you got done to the car so far uh, it's pretty much the same as last time, built bottom end. Uh, this time, it's got a built head. We got the BC272 cams in it. Uh, it's got Brian Crower, one millimeter oversized valves. We got GSC springs. And I also upgraded the turbo from uh, Board Warner S366 to the S369 SXE. And before it was running about 30 pounds, and now it's on about 35 pounds. Which is what almost twice as much as what I'm running in my Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a little three liter, so it take a little more boost. <laughs> and I would have been driving the car this time, but since he added a few more things, I'm gonna let him just drive me around first so I can actually see. <laughs> <laughs> So I can see how I actually want to, how I feel about the car. Still got the same 350Z, three, 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 three six-speed transmission. Got the Collins, stage five twin disc clutch. It's a pain to drive with, but it holds power, so I'm good with it. And like PJ said, it started out as an SC400. So I originally did a 1JZ swap into it, and I used the Dr. Tweak harness. Then over time, once I went with the single turbo upgrade, I decided to go with the AEM V2 standalone, and it's tuned locally here in Baton Rouge by Steve at CNR Performance. You told me that you owned this car for, what, like four years? Uh, well, it's been swapped for about four years, but I bought it back in 2012 as a stock car, and it just okay. took a while before I finally decided to go with the swap. The whole reason I bought the car originally was to be able to perform uh, a Jay-Z swap into the car. Because he wanted uh, basically a budget Supra because he couldn't afford to have a high horsepower Supra at the time. So he went with this one. Yeah, it's got a lot of Supra parts on it. Uh, it has a Supra rear diff, 326 gear reach ratio. Um, it's got stock Supra like motor mounts and stuff like that basic to the swap and for the exhaust i'm running a three inch straight with a dual exit it's got a three inch down pipe three inch mid pipe and dual three inch exit what would you say would be the hardest thing about the swap that you had to go through like the toughest thing other than you breaking down all the time <laughs> um the swap is pretty simple in itself but a lot of the parts are kind of hard to come by you have to wait time or you have to order stuff off ebay so a lot of it the time spent is waiting on parts that you had to order you can't pick up all of them from o'reilly's <laughs> and you have to get a lot of things like shipped in shipped in from overseas or you didn't have to go through too much of that no they have a few vendors locally uh, like Superstore or Drift Motion, they sell a lot of the parts you would need, but you still would have to order and wait on them to come in from them. Trying to 
to keep this straight. I saw, I saw you. I was, I wasn't even full throttle in third, trying to keep it straight. I ain't caught fourth gear in a while. I thought that was fourth, wasn't it? Nah, it had to be. Yeah.